Hi everyone, welcome back to SciMath Academy. Today we are diving into the most important topics in mathematics, LCM and HCF. So we will start from the LCM. LCM stands for least common multiple. It is the smallest number that is the multiple of two or more numbers. For example, if we want to find a multiple of 4 and 6. So the multiple of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And the multiple of 6 or 6. 12, 18, 24, and 30. So these are the multiple of 4 and 6. Now we are going to find out the common multiple. So the common multiple of 6 and 4 are 12 and 24. Now we will look for the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of 12 and 24 is 12. Right? So the LCM or the least common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12. From this procedure, we recognize that if we want to find the LCM of two or more numbers, first of all, we have to find the multiple of these numbers, then we have to find the common multiple of these numbers, and then we have to find the least number or the lowest common multiple of these numbers, then that number will be the LCM of the, these two or more numbers, just like the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Right, first of all, we found the multiple of these numbers, then look for the common multiples and then the least common multiple. So the least common multiple or the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. In another example, if we want to find the LCM of 8 and 6, then we have to write the multiple of 8. So the multiple of 8 or 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 and 48. And a multiple of 6 or 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42 and 48. Now we are going to find out the common multiple of 8 and 6. So the common multiple of 8 and 6 are 24 and 48. Now we are going to looking for the least common multiple. So the least multiple of 24 and 42 is 24. So the least common multiple of 8 and 6 is 24. We use LCM to find the common timelines, scheduling thoughts or quirking with fraction. Now we are going to talk about the HCF or highest common factor. So HCF stands for highest common factor or greatest common divisor, right? So it is the biggest number that divides exactly two or more numbers. For example, if we want to find the HCF of 12 and 18, then we have to find out the factors of 12 and 18, and then we have to find out the common factors, and then we have to find the highest common factor. So the HCF of 12 and 18 is equal to factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now we are going to find out the common factors of 18 and 12. So the common factors of 18 and 12 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Now we are going to find out the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of 1, 2, 3, and 6 or 6. Right, so the HCF or the highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6 because 6 is the greatest number that divides 12 and 18 simultaneously uh, and there is no such other greater number than 6 that divides 12 and 18. So the HCF or highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. Now here is another example in which we have to find out the HCF of 20 and 30. So we will write the factors of 20 which are equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now we are going to find out the common factors. So the common factors of 20 and 30 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now we are going to find out the highest common factor. So the highest common factor or HCF is equal to 10 because 10 is one of the common factors that is the highest factors of uh, 30 and, and 30 at the same time. So the highest common factor or HCF of 20 and 30 is 10. HCF helps us of simplifying fraction, splitting items evenly or dividing resources. Uh, dear viewer, if you want to find out the LCM or HCF using prime factorization, then here is a trick that you can use uh, to find the LCM or HCF easily. And by this trick, you can find the HCF or LCM using prime factorization method very easy. And if you know that trick, then congratulations. But if you don't know, don't worry. In this video, I will explain. Right, so find the LCM using prime factorization. First of all, you have to write the prime factors of each number, take the highest power of all primes. Uh, just like we are going to find out the LCM of 12 and 18. So after prime factorization, the prime factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3, which are equal to 2 raised to the power 2 times 3. 
and prime factorization of 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 3 dies to the power 2 times 2 we are gonna select the highest power right so here the number with the highest power is 2 and here the number with the highest power is 3 right so the LCM of 12 and 18 is equal to 2 rise to the power 2 times 3 rise to the power 2 which is equal to 36 right so the LCM of 12 and 18 is equal to 36 now here is a trick that you can find HF then we have to take only the common prime with the lowest power here we take the prime with the highest power and, but in case of HF we have to take the common prime with the lowest power just like we are going to find out the HF of 12 and 18 so the prime factorization of 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 times 3 then the prime factorization of 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 2 times 3 raised to the power 2 so in case of HF or highest common factor, we have to take the common prime with the lowest power. Just like here, 3 and 2 or the common prime with the lowest power. So HF is equal to 2 times 3 which is equal to 6.